I wanted to do this protective style because I'm really not trying to spend a lot of money on myself right now. I'm trying to save up for like Christmas and all of that. So I'm budgeting myself. And I bought this hair to do the twist literally six months ago. I was going to do some twists then, but then I bought a wig and then I bought another one. And then I bought another one and was wearing that for a while. Then I bought another one. So I just didn't do them. And this hair was just sitting around in my house. And then I remembered, oh, I got some hair somewhere. So I can do some twists and save my little $20, $30 on getting a wig. And we're going to wait a little later. Prepped my hair for the Marley twist. I went ahead and dyed my hair with the Beijing or Bing. However you say it, I got like two videos on how I dye my hair. The Beijing Oriental Black Box Dye that you can find in Walmart, Target, your local beauty supply, it's like $6 at the most. Then I washed my hair with the Redken Extreme Shampoo. And this might have like a reflection on it or something. The Extreme Shampoo is for like distressed dry hair. Um, It's just... It's moisturizing, even though it's a shampoo. It's still moisturizing. Then, for a conditioner, I tried to like deep condition because anytime I dye my hair, I'm gonna get back as much moisture and hydration in my hair as I can possibly get. So I used the Main and Tail conditioner, and I mixed that with the Macadamia nourishing treatment mask or something and I left it on my hair for like 15-20 minutes and then I washed it out then after that and to prevent heat damage again I use the Tresemme Thermal Creations heat tamer this is the only heat you know heat tamer spray that I've ever tried and I like it so I keep buying it blue dry my hair then after that, I went in with the Softy Mango Butter Daily Hairdress. And I got this in Mississippi for like $3, I think. And I just took some of that in my palm and rubbed that all over my head. Then, I had to get my mom to help me part my hair in the back. Because I could not see it. I tried to feel it. I couldn't see. So I had to have her help me part my hair in the back to at least start me off. And that helped big time so I did that and I used this what is this like a rat tail comb the one with the little metal ends on it I know some people don't like this because they feel like it breaks their hair but I was pretty gentle with this so don't feel like I have any breakage or whatever in my book so after that well I used as far as combs I went in between this one and a pick just so I could keep my hair nice and stretched out as much as I could, even though I blue dry my hair. And also went in with this to part my hair. Just to go in. So the hair that I use for the back, I use the Bobby Boss Marley hair. That was my first time using Bobby Boss Marley hair. I usually get like free dress or whatever, but I just had like this random one bag of Bobby Boss hair. So Went ahead and went with that, and it was like 20 inches, so I put that in the back. And that was straight up Marley hair, like, that's just what it was. It was Marley hair. Then I had four or five packs of Equals Cuban Twist, double strand style, 16 inch. I had like four or five packs of this. This hair is so coarse, so thick. I couldn't take two strands. Like, I could take two strands of the Marley hair and go at it. But with this, I had to, like, literally separate one strand into two and do my twist like that. Because this was just super thick and kinky, which is cool if you're going for that look. But I just wanted some simple Marley twists, and it was just so thick to grab. I think I did, like, two of those. You see how thick that one is compared to like this one it's so thick so be mindful of that if you're going to pick out like what hair you're going to use for your twist i mean it's nice hair it blends in perfectly like you can't really tell the difference but it is a, diff a difference in texture 
Also, I used some clamps or some clips or whatever just so I could keep my hair parted. So, I think I used basically all four packs of this Cuban Twist hair. And I used that entire pack except for like three or four strands of that Bobby Boss hair. And these are my twists. I just got it in like a bun right now. So yeah, that is it. My parting, I did like squares and then, you no, know, as it gets to the edges, it kind of turned into like triangles. So whatever. I guess I could go ahead and show you what they look like down. I got these little gold clamp things from my local beauty supply. These are light. If okay, no shade, no shade. But I'm really not sure why. I don't know. To me, in my mind, it looks heavy, like the crochet Marley twist. Like Marley hair is light anyway. But I don't know. Like I don't think I would do crochet braids then Marley twist. Like I would just do straight up Marley twist. But this is light. This is super light. Like. It feels like nothing, even though I got a head full of hair. So, yeah. I like them. If you have any questions about them, I can't tell if I'm blurry or not. Um, if you have any questions about my twist or whatever, if I left something out, it'll either be in the description box. Or you can go ahead and leave me a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.